This Kelvin Levine segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars, locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop. While you might not expect something like breakdancing, also known as breaking or b-boying, to take the streets of Kelloland, there is something about watching that form of dance that just makes you smile. That's probably because the people doing the dancing that involves backspins and headspins really love the art. That includes today's Across the Table guest, who also happens to be an old classmate of mine. I sat down with film director Dan Zhu at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars recently to find out more about how his love of breakdancing has taken him around the world. Cheers. Cheers. Dan, thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you, Ashley. Mm. Okay. We talked to you recently on the show. You brought a really cool documentary, docu-series that you did for the Olympics on, mm. on breakdancing. But how did you get into, let's start with the breakdancing scene to begin <laughs> with, because I've known you a long time and I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something I picked up in college and then uh, danced with friends in college. And then even after college, you know, during summer breaks, we come here. Yeah. Um, I discovered, oh, there's people dancing here in Sioux Falls as well. And uh, for people that got to know me for a little bit, uh, I had, did teach a little bit of dance at some Leif Erikson summers. This is some Leif Erikson well. summers. Yes. So if you were at Leif Erikson those summers, you might have learned some break dancing. But, you know, when you think about even how you first got started in break dancing, what interested you about it in the first place? Uh, the culture. So, breaking and hip hop in general, you know, it's comprises of like so many cultures, you know, even though it started with like blacks and Latinos in New York City, uh, you know, Asians, whites, Latinos, everyone gets together and, and you don't have to speak the same language, you just speak the language of movement, you know, the language of the music, everything makes you groove, even though you don't understand it and dance is the same way. So it's so much easy to make friends all around the world just through dance. And that's why I, lo I love it, and that's why I, prom I promote it so much. And you really have done just that. You've made friends all around the world through dance. But when did it turn from dancing to making films about dancing? Uh, so and doing the video work, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I think this was when um, I realized I wasn't as good as others <laughs> in, 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 in some of the competition realm. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you know, you're like, oh, I'm already here. I still love this culture. Uh, let me pick up a camera, let me see it. And then you, you know, this is like early 2010s and you pick up a camera and you see, and other people are like, oh, people watch this. You yeah. know, you start getting viewers and viewers. And nowadays, you know, like the stuff that I do, it goes, it has a huge social media following. Lots of celebrities re reshare it, obviously Olympics. And I would have never in my wildest life thought Olympics would have picked it up, especially so soon in my lifetime. But uh, here we are in 2024. You started out wanting to be a violin player and you ended up making films about breakdancing, but are there some similarities between the two? There are similarities in music and making a film because uh, audio and just being creative in general in any kind of that field, uh, you can use it. For example, um, when I did my documentary with the Olympics, I helped along with my producer friend, we created the entire soundtrack from scratch. Yeah. And I wouldn't have done that if I didn't have a music background. Okay, so you mentioned some celebrities and some people that are cool. Who's like some of the cool names? Can you name drop somebody, some people? We've been featured on Joe Rogan okay. quite a bit. Uh, we've been featured on, you know, like Tonight Show, Good Morning America. Anytime you see like a viral breakdancing video, there's a high chance that it comes from me yeah. uh, filming it uh, from around the world. So, yeah. Even from here, you're headed to Colombia, South America. I am heading to Colombia. So when you've done all these travels, what's what's a takeaway you've had from just getting to see the world and finding a career where you get to travel as part of your job? The takeaway? Yeah. Uh, the takeaway is that, you know, everyone, it's great seeing something like hip hop, even though it started, the whole intention of hip hop was peace, unity, having f love and having fun. And then they use it to help each other's lives, you know, whether it's to help their living situation or their economic situation, or just, just be physically active or just be happy. And, it, and 
you see it all around the world, you know, and just filming like something like that and promoting that makes you feel good too. Having been all around the world, what are some of the things about our community here in Kelloland that really stick out to you as being pretty amazing? What I like about Kelloland is uh, everyone is, they're really open-minded, love to try anything. You know, you, you throw something totally new and you're like, yes, yes, you know, I wanna, I wanna see this, I wanna see, everyone has a very curious mind and I feel that also has helped me because uh, you have a nice, we have a nice small knit community here, but we are very curious. So I think that curiosity really makes me go, like when I was living here, I was thinking, what does the rest of the world world look like? And can I bring it back here? Because I know what people want to see what the rest of the world looks like as well. Going back to the old violin days, I don't think we can have this conversation without talking about our shared music teacher, Ray Sidoti, right? Yes. What is something you learned from Ray or from the violin that's really stuck with you over time? Ray Sidoti, so people that know Ray Sidoti, he was in the South Dakota Symphony, mm -hmm. uh, Youth Symphony, DAPA. Yeah. Uh, what he really did was he, 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 he taught us discipline, hard work, and if people recognize your passion through your work and you can associate people with that, they will understand your art. So that's good advice, yeah. What is something you would tell a new aspiring filmmaker or videographer? What, what's the advice you give? My advice for any filmmaker is to film what you like. Don't, 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 don't film what you think other, like society wants you to do. Film what you like. Like I film breaking and that's, that's a niche. That's such a small niche, but I loved it. And by liking it, it doesn't feel like work. You know, and because it doesn't feel like work, you're doing this like, even last night, I was, I was working at 11, 11 p.m. at night, and it was fun. You know, you're having a drink and you're sitting there working and, you know, and so film what you like and eventually it'll motivate you to keep making more, experiment more with your craft, such as filmmaking. And, you know, then you have like this corner of the market that no one else has and this passion that, you know, it is yours. And there's no way, you know, there's no other direction but up. There's no other direction but up. That's yes. good advice. I'll cheers to that. Let's take a drink. Thanks. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just the perfect way to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. Need a fun activity that you and all your friends will love? Book a game night with JJ's Axes and Ales. Spots fill up fast, so make your plans now. JJ's Axes and Ales experts will not only teach you how to throw an axe, but also how to play some fun and competitive games as well. Unleash your inner Viking or lumberjack at 3016 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more on their website, jjsaxes.com. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine Spirits and Cigars, locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop.